Hey guys, welcome back to the Conservative Patriot. I wanted to give you my thoughts today on Jeffrey Epstein's suicide. It wasn't really a suicide. But before I get into that, I want to touch on something. I posted a video yesterday, and I actually had to pull it down. Um, there were, it was a video I put up um, regarding my thoughts on um, Andrew Yang's reaction um, and then it kind of evolved into his policies, etc. And I got I got attacked bad yesterday um, by God knows how many people um, swearing at me. A couple of people sent me emails, personal emails, attacking me um, with my comments. Um, it was just an onslaught of horrific comments and I'm all about dialogue and having opposing viewpoints but when I get personally attacked and called names um, horrific names then it, it goes too far and I was I was forced to take that video and and delete it from YouTube because some of the comments that these people were making were the language was absolutely atrocious. It was uh, nothing that I could condone, and uh, some of the words that these people were writing down were was unreal. So uh, if you saw a video um, yesterday and then all of a sudden it was gone, that is why I had to pull it down. Um, but let me get back to Jeffrey Epstein here. Uh, I have I have um, mixed emotions regarding this. Do I feel bad that he was killed or killed himself? No, I don't. Um, he was a pedophile, and pedophiles are on my list of people in this world who just should not walk around. Um, so whether he took his own life or it was taken for him, um, it, doesn't, it doesn't faze me at all. Do I like to see other human beings killed or kill themselves? No. But in this case, um, he was not human anymore. He went beyond that when he started doing what he was doing, um, being a pedophile. And he was convicted in 2005 for the first time of this, sent to a country club in Florida and allowed to like basically live his life for 18 months. Um, and then, you know, got the ankle bracelet off pretty much. and was allowed to start again, start anew, buying islands and pedophile island and bought an, another one three years ago for God knows who, what he was going to do on that one. But my thought is, is did he really kill himself or was he murdered? It just seems, and I'm not big on conspiracy theory, but it just seems a little weird to me that he was, he would all of a sudden get taken off of suicide watch, not have a cellmate like he was supposed to have, and then all of a sudden he allegedly commits suicide. Now I know a couple weeks ago they found him in the cell and he had um, marks around his throat like he tried to kill himself before, which also makes me wonder were those put there? Did somebody do that on purpose? It's it's all coming back to all this conjecture and this conspiracy. I really I don't like conspiracy, but it, there's there's so much out there that it could be um, suicide. To me, doesn't seem a likely story. It seems like he was murdered so he didn't talk and incriminate many 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 other people. I'm sure all, you know, high-ranking politicians or um, people in, um, you know, high leadership roles in business and who knows where they are in the world. Hollywood stars, I don't know. Um, I know that, you know, it was documented that Bill Clinton went down to this island a couple times, a few times maybe, and he denies it. Can you really trust that guy? I mean, he denied the whole Monica Lewinsky thing, and look where that got him, impeached. And it came out to be true that, you know, he did what she said he did. So, it, um, 
I kind of want to get your, you, um, your, I can't even talk, your viewpoints on this and see what you think. You know, what kind of conspiracy theories do you have? Do you think it was suicide? Do you think it was murder? I think it was, I think it was murder. Um, there's no way that a, um, a prison would just all of a sudden stop doing what it was supposed to do unless there was some kind of payout, I guess. You know, there's some kind of promise for something. So, um, it's unfortunate because his, the, the victims will never get retribution like they deserve. They will never get to see him pay the way he should have paid. He took, if he did kill himself, he took the easy way out. And if he was murdered, someone else, you know, gave him the easy way out. So he wouldn't talk. So those are my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um, do me a favor, hit that bell icon so you know, you're notified when I put another video out. Hit the subscribe button. If you're not a subscriber, if you're already a subscriber, I thank you very much. And always remember to stay on the right. Talk to you soon.